Hey guys, today I wanted to talk about why friends are overrated. So you might be thinking that you need, you know, a huge circle of friends in order to be like a normal, decent person, but that is just not true. Actually, the smarter you get and the more mature that you become, the less you want a huge circle of friends. You maybe want one or two, maybe three really close friends, but you don't need all these acquaintances. You don't need all these social circles in order to feel good about yourself. You don't even need any friends to feel good about yourself, honestly. There's so many people out there that could care less if they even have one friend because they are so immersed in themselves and not in like a conceited self-centered way, they're just immersed in being and in life and in the present moment and in just focusing on their own self and their own life and improving themselves and therefore improving the world. Friends are like mirrors. They're there to teach you things about yourself, actually. There are certain friends that they're going to double cross you. They're going to stab you in the back. You're going to realize that they're really not your friends. They were your enemies in disguise. Those are there to teach you lessons about life and yourself. Then there's the real friends who do support you, who do love you, who do stand by you even in hard, difficult times. And those are kind of like spirit guides for you, but kind of in a physical form. And they are mirrors for the positive aspects of yourself. Realize that everything around you is a reflection of you, okay? I know this is getting really like freaky and philosophical, but just explore this idea with it. Think about it at a different level. Most, I want to say, most average people are very lost and they don't actually have their own opinions about life. A lot of people are just like regurgitating the opinions of other people, what they read on Facebook or what they saw on Instagram, what they saw in a movie they watched. Very few people uh, rarely actually sit down by themselves and think, for themselves and come up with their own ideas and opinions. So the vast majority of people and most likely your circle of friends are lost and they're actually not really going to help you in any substantial way. All they're going to provide is just company. So if you're lonely or you want to party or you want to go for lunch, that is what they are. They are just company. But a real friend is someone who is going to encourage you to grow as a person, to mature. They're going to try to push you through challenges in life that are going to improve you and make you stronger. And they will stand by you. And this is the real way to tell if you have a real friend is when you are rock bottom, like rock bottom, and they are there. They are there standing by you, helping you out. They don't see you any differently than they had seen you when you weren't rock bottom. That's how you tell who a real friend is and those ones are very, very rare. But in all reality, friends are overrated because I have seen so many people ruin their lives because they have the wrong group of friends. If you have the wrong group of friends, they are going to influence you negatively. They're gonna put the wrong thoughts in your mind and whatever your thoughts are is what you're gonna create in your life. Your life is a reflection of what you always think about. So if you're always hanging around people that repeat the same negative thoughts over and over, then it's going to influence you and it's going to influence the way that you see your life and then it's going to influence your life choices okay and you're going to end up just like the group of friends that you're with so be very very careful who you allow to spend your time with i honestly believe that it's better to not have friends than to have negative friends friends that are kind of energy vampires that are going to drain you and distract you from what you came here to do Okay, from your passions, your dreams, your goals, all the things that are going to allow you to be the best version of yourself. Bad friends are just blocks to that. Obstacles. You don't need them. It's better to just let them go. They're not serving you. Realize that there is absolutely nothing wrong with getting rid of all of your toxic, energy-draining friends and just isolating yourself and being alone so that you can grow. Everybody needs a period of their life to be alone, to discover what they came here to do, to discover what excites them truly, 
what they really want to do with their life to, you know, think about all the deep life questions. You can't do that with a huge group of people and all these influencing energies. Only you know the answer to that question for yourself. And the only way to discover it is to be by yourself. You need a lot of alone time. There is no strong individual out there who hasn't gone through this process of being alone and kind of isolating and just getting rid of all the influencing energy and only going within and listening to themselves. The answers are always inside you. Always. You just need to learn how to tune in and listen. If you're lonely, if you feel isolated, if you feel like there's something wrong with you because you don't have a lot of friends, there is nothing wrong with you. Question that belief. Is that really true? Is it true that if you don't have friends, there must be something wrong with you? No. You probably hold that belief if you're watching this video. Really confront it and let that belief go. It's not true. Whatever you believe is what is real in your life. So be very careful what you believe about reality, about the world, about yourself, about other people. You having friends has nothing to do with who you really are. I hope this video helped you guys and I'll see you all in the next. Bye.